This project really began back in 2016 and it's a really exciting moment for us. I mean, we've got one of the most popular beaches in the country. We get over 11 million visitors and the vast majority of them treat it right and they go home very happy. There's always that small minority who don't necessarily appreciate how sensitive this coastal location is in terms of climate change and particularly things like leaving litter. So we thought it would be an amazing opportunity to try and nudge some behavioural change by creating this environmental hub here at Durnley Chine to teach people about climate change and hopefully influence parents and other generations of visitors who come down. We've got a long history working with WSP and to shape and improve infrastructure along our coastline. They're a natural choice to go to. Structurally, I'd say the biggest challenge was probably the timber. The council had a stock of timber that's come out of the sea. These groins that you can see on the beach, they get replaced every 20 years or so. And I knew that a lot of that was still very serviceable. But it was quite a journey to get from a stockpile of timber to actually being able to use it structurally on a project. You have to go through the process of regrading the timber, but also the design itself has to be developed to suit this stock of materials you've got. It also needed to pick up some of the other things that we do for the council, like particularly on the seafront, that's cliff stability. We were able to bring the people in from our team who could do an assessment to make sure that that was all working as well. That approach can be replicated quite easily in all sorts of other refurbishment projects because it's becoming a necessity in order to keep down the carbon of buildings that we're designing now. The aesthetics of it really was about creating something that sat naturally within the location. So this is why we're standing in this external space. We decided that it wasn't necessary to be internal, heated, new walls. So we're reducing as much as we could in terms of material as well as energy use in the future. Even in the concrete structures, they're low carbon concrete. There's hardly any reinforcement, 70% replacement cement. The layering of the concrete was about reflecting the natural cliff behind us and the stratum of the cliff facade where we've got the exposed sands. The canopy structure, which was a really difficult structural process, which was part of the great collaboration with WSP, was about reflecting the form of the cliff and also being able to recycle this building in the future. So you can see the connections on show and that's enabling us to effectively take it apart again and reuse them again in the future. Then the other side of the development is the education rooms. We'd start developing ideas around sea school, bringing kids in and kind of educating them out on the beach, but also where they can come back and talk about things. We've got a small kiosk on site, it's all reusable cups, so no single-use plastics basically from that kiosk. I feel like we've got a really useful and productive relationship with WSP. They were our structural engineers and also doing the mechanical and electrical design. Then they were kept on as consultants to take it forward and produce what we've got, which is this amazing building. We've just secured £20 million of levelling up funding investment in infrastructure on our seafront. We're already beginning to work with WSP, thinking around some of those projects and many other projects as well. So yes, a, an ongoing programme. Each project is completely unique and that's what we love about it. This scheme began before COVID, so we all have been on a journey to deliver this project in the way that we have. It sits comfortably in the landscape here. It looks like it's part of the landscape. The learnings that we've, we've had from this scheme will be carried forward into many projects into the future. We're very proud of it.